guys, so this is a little bit of an awkward intro. Um, I actually just edited this whole video and realized I never started the video. So I'm just popping on really quick here to tell you guys whether you are new to my channel and this is your first video watching or you guys have been with me for a while. Today I'm doing a tutorial or sort of like a DIY video. Basically, I was attending Electric Zoo and I had made a flag for the first time to bring with me. It was my Rave Culture podcast flag, which is the weekly podcast that I host. Um, I made a two by three flag and I needed to bring a pole into the festival and they had strict guidelines on the type of pole you could bring in and they specified absolutely no metal pieces. So my boyfriend decided to make me a custom flagpole and um, he ended up making me one that was collapsible which I had never seen before and I posted it on my Instagram and got so many comments from people asking me where I bought it and I had to say it was a custom made pole so apparently it's a thing that a lot of people are interested in so that's what the tutorial is today um, we're gonna be showing you how Brian put together this pole all the items you need to buy to make it and basically just show you how you can do it at home it's extremely convenient I loved having it it's a bit of a shorter pole so I was able to just like hold it up in the crowd when I needed it and then I could collapse it at nighttime and I just put it right inside my, my hydration pack when it got dark out. Literally the most convenient thing ever. The whole thing I think cost under 15 bucks to make. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and please subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed already and give this a thumbs up if you want to see more tutorials from me uh, or if you want to see Brian come on camera again because this was his first time and I'm sure he loved it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this and thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the video. All right, guys. Oh God. We're at Home Depot now, so we're gonna go show you what you we're need to pick up. We're gonna make a flagpole. We're making a flagpole. We'll show you what we need to get, and hopefully they don't yell at me for filming. So we're measuring how much? 14 inches? Yeah, 14. 14 well, inches. All right, this is Brian's first time on camera, guys, shooting a video with me. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna show you guys how to assemble the pole. Um, we have everything in front of us, like we showed you in the clips before. It's really not that much stuff. The only thing that Brian did prior to film uh, was drill two holes in the top here. So yeah, so you have to drill two little holes in the top of the caps here. Why is that? Because that's where you tie the string through. Okay, because you're gonna be putting string through the top of it. So we just did that off camera, so you guys will need a drill. So just note that. Okay, so where do we start? We're starting here, but are we taking everything out? Mm -hmm. All right, okay, so we have the, sh the string thread stuff here. So if this one came with these things on the end, so we're gonna cut that off. So I'm gonna do that scissor hold. Save these caps for the end, uh, untying the knot. He's untying the knot. Mm -hmm. The only thing I was gonna say, we're not doing this on camera today, but the pole that we have has writing on it, you guys. So if you wanna custom make yours, like I would spray paint this white or spray paint it black, whatever color you want. Um, I left mine as is on the one I'm cur currently using at festivals, but just know like you kind of have all these ugly numbers and letters on here, so feel free to paint yours. So you're gonna put an end cap. Just like on one so. end. Okay. Oh, and we didn't mention this is a three, three quarters. quarters. Yeah. Okay. 14 inch pipe. We cut it in Home Depot, which was good because um, this is obviously what's going to make it collapsible. Okay. So now what you guys are going to do is you're going to take your thread and the end cap and you're going to thread it through the hole that he drilled. Okay. There we go. So now you've got the end cap and the elastic rope together. And then you're going to start putting the pieces. On. Okay. So in we, the order everything's gonna go on. So. Okay, gotcha. You're stringing that on, so what's next? Three quarter coupling first. Three quarter coupling. I don't know what that means, but that's what's next. It just next. connects two pieces. <laughs> you could probably glue this together so it stays on one end, but okay. we're not gonna do that. Perfect, so that's on. And then you'll get your next piece. Okay, hold the end here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, push that in. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Just get in there. One inch rotating flag mounting ring. So that goes on next. This is one inch because they didn't have three quarter, but you, three quarter, you can tighten okay. it up and it still will fit. Get it enough on there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the little ring holder and he took it apart. So it comes together like that. 
and we took the insert out of it. So you're not gonna use this because it's not fitting the fourth quarter um, pipe. Okay. This little rotating part on first. Okay, so that's all the way down here now. Here. Okay, slide that down. You don't fasten it yet though. You wait until you put your flag on. Next yeah. part, next coupling. Okay, put that in there, got it. You need to pull that this like is when taut. It's a little hard, because it's gotta be pulled tight. Okay. And then fish it through. Because the string, the elastic is what's gonna keep like when you pull it apart, it'll keep the whole thing so together. Snap back together. All okay. right, I'm holding this tight for him. So now he's taking the insert out of the other uh, ring holder thing. Don't let go of the elastic because it will shoot back through. It's time you put the fastener on first. Okay, fastener on first. And then the little rotating thing. Okay. Singing the bob. And then you're taking the um, the end piece again, and you're just gonna string the elastic through the top. You just have to drill the hole like big enough to yeah, get. Yeah, but you don't want to make it too big because then it will just like. Ball. If you just put a knot at the end, it will just like sling right back. Mm -hmm. Take it back. <laughs> Do you need two hands, guys? Yeah. A little cap thing? It came with this string. Okay. There's like a little like cap that came with the package. This is when you don't want to lose it. Yeah. Are like you Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts and then a tie a knot? Tie a knot. <laughs> Perfect. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to cut that string, but it's just peeking through there. All right, guys, so we're just going to put a flag on it. I couldn't find my Rave Culture podcast flag, so we're using my Jaws flag. This is the clip. Okay, so then we got to pull that up a little you bit. You don't set it until you put the flag on Okay, so that's clipped and in. Fasten that down. And then see how there's like some slack here? You don't want it moving like that. So this holder, you're going to push it down to keep this like nice and tight. So we're lining the top fastener Justing. and we're going to line it up with the bottom one so that they're sort of like matching so that your flag is like coming down the same side of the pole there. We're going to take the little screw, tighten the fastener. So now this won't budge and this is going to keep your flag nice and taut here. So that's it. That's your flag. And it's a nice size like pole too, you guys. Like we wanted it shorter so you can just kind of like hold it while you walk and like wave it above. But you can um, make them in any size. You just cut whatever lengths you want. Exactly, so. yeah. So then how do we take it apart? So you're gonna pull it apart right where, what is that called, a coupling? Yes, you where the pull coupling it out is. of the coupling, pull it out but of the coupling. it's attached with the string. Pull it there, perfect. Rings no, you just match up your rings so they're on the same side. Right. So you can fold your flag in half. Okay. So your flag's folded in half. Like so. This is how I did it at um, Izu because I took this. It's like nice and tight and compact. This is like the best thing ever because if you don't want to hold your flag all night long, there you go. And then I stuck this in the side of my lunchbox hydration pack and it fit perfectly in like a little mesh pocket on the side. So yeah, because the bottom of it is like nice and compact. Stick it in your hydration pack, whatever bag you have. Um, like at night when if you don't want to have like your flag and you don't have this like whole long thing You have to hold it all night long when it gets dark out and no one can really see it anyway Or if you're at a set and you don't want to have your flag in somebody's face the whole night You can collapse the flag and then put it back together whenever you want. And it's nice and compact You can throw this in a locker. That's what I did at Imagine um, And it's genius. I don't know if anybody else has this but this man no, Made this custom pole, which is amazing. And if you want it in somebody's face, you just open it up. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, snap, snap. Perfect. <laughs> you could just put the pull back together and snap it back together. And that's the whole thing, you guys. Round of applause for Brian. <laughs> I think we killed it. Okay, we're going to leave down below in the description box everything that you need to pick up for the poll. If you have any questions, feel free to leave us comments below. This flag also is a two by three, right? Yes. Yeah, this is a two by three flag, so I would go with the smaller size flag um, for this poll in particular, just because it's on the shorter side. And again, if you don't want all this like lettering and stuff just from like Home Depot, then I would spray paint the pole 100%, and it's super nice compact to pack, easy to bring to festivals. It's awesome. I don't know, maybe we'll make custom orders one day. Let us know if you'd be interested in that because maybe we can make some special orders or something, we'll see. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna start churning out uh, custom polls. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want Brian to come mm -hmm. back. <laughs> I'll sign him too, oh, don't worry. Yeah, Brian will sign them. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye. So you're going to put an end cap on one of the ends. <laughs> <laughs> String that through. It's our first DIY video, guys. Shh. Oh, shit.
<laughs> Almost lost it. <laughs> hours late. <laughs> Cramping. <laughs> Let me hold your pole. Tell me PG-13. <laughs> get up close. <laughs> Flag is blocking it. Do that again. Do that again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just stops right there. Oh, oh. 